All right, this is mutation number 31, survival of the fittest. And uh, the mutators are transmutation and barrier. So I'm gonna do a zero toll or herald only. And uh, I'm gonna speed this up because uh, no mining. So there's gonna be no mining whatsoever. Uh, so that's why these probes are just gonna sit here. And um, I picked the um, probably an easier AI because even even uh, even so, it's still kind of hard. It just took me several tries to do. Um, yeah, so I tried with the void the void stasis, the, the suppression crystal. I mean, suppression crystal, but uh, turns out that uh, having some static D at home to kill off stragglers, stragglers is kind of good. Otherwise, I'd have to go back and kill myself. So here, um, after the first wave, I'm gonna try to kill this Ultralisk, uh, with, or at least damage it. So, uh, while I'm waiting for the uh, next artifact fragment. Fortunately here, it's right next to the spawning pool, so it's right here. Get it, and then come back here, get Blink, of course. And then come back, finish off this Ultralisk. Uh, during this run, I, uh, I learned to, uh, you can like walk up, slash, and then blink away if they start to move. Otherwise, uh, you can just keep spinning. Okay, close, spin, spin. If they move, then you blink so that you don't give them a chance to transmit. And uh, kill off the spore, cro the spore crawlers on the sides. So this one's easier than Protoss because uh, Protoss comps will, uh, will have photon cannons, which all of them will hit you. And here, only the spores you have to worry about, so as long as you can kill the spores, you should be okay. And uh, here, there, also, I can s I like this one because I can see the... I can see the... the, the detector, so I know where what to avoid. These guys, they're annoying, they have this uh, life drain thing, but uh, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's generally, like, Okay, so here there's only one spore crawler, kill it and then everything's safe. So I'm gonna make sure that anything that transmutates is killed, otherwise they'll walk the face. Here, uh, I wanna kill this Ultralisk and then there's an Overseer here and a Spore here. So I picked uh, Pattern B, you may have noticed in the beginning, so that I can get Zero Toll out. Uh, otherwise I would uh, get wrecked by the first wave, the 3 minute wave, so yeah. Here, this is away from detection. This, this hybrid has no detection, so I'm just gonna stand here and kill it. Uh, well, now I'm gonna get to work on this side. I'm gonna kill these. There's an overseer here, so I need to wear that. Now that this guy is kind of I have to uh, fight him. So here, I let him just go to base while I uh, kill off this, uh, this hybrid. Maybe I should have let him go, but uh, I, I didn't want to risk it, so I just stand there. Meanwhile, at home, he's fighting, but he doesn't do that much damage, so uh, kind of okay, and then now he's dead. So the worst one is the Dominator because of their Plasma Shot, that's really, really strong, and uh, sometimes I have trouble dodging as well. Next, I'm gonna, uh, the next wave, attack wave comes at uh, 14, 14 minutes, so I'm gonna like kill. I gotta make sure I stay away from the hybrid behemoths, uh, the life suck, I and mean, there's an overseer one to kill it, but like, gotta be careful. There. The enemy wave spawns at 1340, so here I'm gonna. Oh no, see that guy? He's here, I, I have to stay away from him. He's gonna probably walk to my base, and then uh, while he's walking to the base, I'll kill off this wave and then go home and deal with that hybrid. Okay, he's here, he's gonna get poked, and then. Fighting one on one is generally okay, like but here's zero toll plus towers. All right, so I cleared most of the spore problems here. Zero toll can take uh, hits from the Thrasher, uh, even like like if no nothing else is hitting, he will be fine. Here, the emits are kind of interesting because they have like a melee attack, so as long as I get out of the melee range, they're not that friend, and they can't transmutate anymore. So. Kinda okay with that. Here's the enemy wave. Let's see, oh, it's like that. Then uh, 
spin, spin, spin. I don't want. I still want to blink away because I want to regen. So I don't want to hit. But if I'm at full life, I'm just, I'm just letting go here. Uh, I figured that I can actually use uh, the the towers, the monoliths, as like a way to stall the hybrids. And here on this side, there's only one support here. There's probably one here as well for symmetry. But then uh, I can get them down really low. Every time I get them really low, and then I I, I can't finish it off, so I have to like. Okay, but now he's dead, and that barely took any time. So it's time uh, here. I, if I stand like right here, I can slash the Thrasher without getting aggro because they can't see me. So I want to get rid of the first two Thrashers as soon as possible because uh, that way I can like slowly push forward without worrying about getting uh, without worrying about the fortress dying. So that Nautilus is going down, but I didn't really need it anymore anyways. Now that they're now that they're dead, I'm gonna try to like push up the sides, have to kill the detectors, slowly push here at the side. Uh, maybe I should go up here and kill off these detectors. Some brute lords are really annoying. They're hybrid reavers, but they're better than dominators. Dominators will shoot me. They have long range, so here I can just hit them and then flink away. And when they're close, I just flink away. See dominators here, get out. I'm gonna get back here so that I can attack Dylan, but uh let's see. Um they're coming from two angles, so I better deal with them. Uh, deal with this one too. Okay, the Dominator's fighting my static key, but I'm not gonna summon any more here because uh, I wanna use them in the last in the last part. Yeah, now that all the oh well, there's still some uh, there's still two hybrids left, so here I'm gonna use that one to spell. Now there's three. Oh my god, four. Uh, I'm gonna kill off these two. It's basically a dance. I'm using the the, the whirlwind to hurt the Thrasher and part of the cleave. Uh, but see here, he's getting aggro by this thing, so now I can just kill off the last Thrasher without any problem. And this guy's just sitting here oblivious. 